Hello, welcome to Daily Inspirations. I am Michelle Dawn. Today I am decorating my color block happy planner that I use for wellness slash health tracking. And I will be using some Girl Boss Anna tapes along with the new Planny Things Seasonal Fun Sticker Book and Seasonal Florals that was from, uh, I think a few months, several months ago. Here we go. The reason that I chose the Seasonal Fun and Seasonal Floral Sticker Books from Planny Thing and those particular colors of um, Girl Boss Anna tapes is that it is May Ray Day on May 19th which is during the week of this spread. And I really love the concept. It's just a bright, happy holiday or observance. So I am going to tell you a little bit about it now. I am reading to you today from nationaltoday.com. National May Ray Day is celebrated on May 19th. And today we celebrate all the rays of sunshine in our lives. It's that time of year when the remnants of spring bring the whispers of summer and the sunshine is at its most inviting. So what are you waiting for? Take a gulp of that sweet summer air. History of National May Ray Day. The origin of National May Ray Day was thanks to comedian Richard Ankley, who decided to honor his brother Ray, who was born on that same day. In 1977, the Broadway Fun Spot, nicknamed for Broadway Residents, in St. Joseph, Michigan, decided to commemorate the day by turning it into an official holiday. Richard Ankley is also the founder of Welcome Giving Day, celebrated in November. Though National May Ray Day has many associations now, the general idea remains the same, to get out there and soak up some sun. It's the chance to catch the last breath of spring along with the gentle rays precluding summer, a time when nature puts its best foot forward. Historically, the month of May has many cultural connotations and significance. For those in agrarian societies, it marked the beginning of sowing or reaping, depending on which hemisphere they were in, since May is either the last month of spring or the last month of fall. The ancient Greeks certainly took spring seriously by celebrating the Greek god Dionysus, also known as Bacchus in Roman lore. The god of the grape harvest, wine, fertility, rebirth, flora, revelry, and theater. Furthermore, the month of May also has its origins in Greek mythology, as it's named after Maya, one of the seven Pleiades, a twinkling constellation in the clear night sky. For the literary ones, you may have heard it said that March winds and April showers bring forth May flowers, which can't be more accurate. When we think of spring, we think of fertility, growth, and all-around merriment. Overall, the holiday begs to be one of enjoyment. Next on nationaltoday.com, we have three frequently asked questions about National May Ray Day. What is the difference between National May Ray Day and May Day? It's easy to confuse May Ray Day with May Day celebrated May 1st when Europeans celebrate the return of spring by dancing around the Maypole. Puritans in New England found this to be pagan and licentious, therefore it was banned and not celebrated in the United States. The second one is, where did the SOS call May Day originate from? In the 1920s, a senior radio officer at Croydon Airport, London, Frederick Stanley Mockford, was the first to use this signal to indicate emergencies. He was asked to come up with an easily understood term for distress, and since many of the planes flew between France and England, he came up with May Day as a short form of the French word May Dare, which means help me. I don't know how to pronounce that word in French. I apologize for that. The third and final frequently asked question is, what if there is no sunshine on National May Ray Day? And the answer is, get creative. Do the same things you would do on a sunny day, but indoors. If indoor picnics are not your thing, we suggest you see other tips for celebrating May Ray Day, like curling up with Ray Bradbury's works 
or swaying to the sounds of Ray Charles. Speaking of those tips, the next thing on nationaltoday.com is how to celebrate National May Ray Day. They have three suggestions for us. The first one is to take a walk. It's simple and can make all the difference to your mood. Slather on some sunscreen, grab those Ray-Bans, and soak up some vitamin D. Make a picnic of it, if you feel extra fancy. Number two, get down and dirty. Literally, put on those gardening gloves, get out your rusty tools, and plant something to celebrate life, growth, and rebirth. Green fingers or not, you can give back to the earth this way. And finally, the third one, party with rays. Whether you want to groove to the smooth tunes of Ray Charles while out enjoying the sun's rays or get stuck in Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, there's a ray for everyone out there. Just make sure you enjoy your favorite ray in the sunshine and don't forget to hashtag your relevant selfies with hashtag National May Ray Day. Next, we have five facts about May you may not know. Number one, the name has mixed origins. May either originates from Maya, the goddess of plant growth, or from the Latin maiores, meaning elders. Number two, May has its own moon name. May's full moon is called the flower moon and will be visible on May 26th this year. Number three, emerald is May's birthstone. The emerald symbolizes rebirth and fertility. Go figure. Number four, May has two birth flowers. Hawthorne and Lily of the Valley symbolize hope and return of happiness. And lastly, five, marry in May at your own peril. May was once considered an unlucky marriage month as a poem says, marry in May and you'll rue the day. And to conclude our little awareness education thing about May Ray Day today, Ooh, lots of A rhyming going on. The last thing we have from nationaltoday.com is why we love National May Ray Day. Number one, every culture has a reason to celebrate. Some countries hold harvest festivals while others revel in the headiness of spring by celebrating festivals expressing the freedom to be. It's a time for music festivals too. The second one is changes in the air. Whether you're in the Northern Hemisphere, ushering in summer, or the Southern Hemisphere, preparing for the fall, May is the month of transition around the world. So you have a reason to update your wardrobe, try something new, and express yourself as freely as nature does. And finally, rays get a day of appreciation. This does not mean that only those named Ray get special appreciation. Broaden this category a bit and ask yourself who the special rays of sunshine are in your life. Then go ahead and show them some love and spread the cheer. Let me know down in the comments how you plan to spend National May Ray Day this May 19th, 2022. I plan to celebrate the rays of sunshine in my life who are my two teenagers and my husband. And we'll probably spend it outside seeing as how I cannot get enough of this beautiful desert sunshine out here in El Paso, Texas. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, the humidity is like very, very, very low, which makes it even better. So I will be enjoying the literal rays of sunshine and the sunshines in my life. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other fun ideas for May Ray Day and any questions, comments, suggestions, leave those all down there as well. I always love to see them. All done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. As always, stay inspired. Bye.